Right now, hurtling through our solar system at 60 kilometers per second, there's a visitor from another star. And it's showing signs of unexpected behavior like brightness fluctuations and weird behaviors. In a few days, it's going to make its closest approach to the sun. The question is, what happens next? Today, we're diving into one of the most mysterious objects ever detected in our cosmic neighborhood, Comet 3I Atlas. This is only the third confirmed interstellar visitor we've ever tracked, and scientists are scrambling to study it before it vanishes back into the void. Let's start with how we found this thing. On July 1st, 2025, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile picked up what looked like a faint, fuzzy dot moving against the background stars. Nothing unusual at first. But when astronomers calculated its trajectory, they realized something extraordinary. This object wasn't orbiting the Sun. It was passing through. Think of our solar system like a roundabout. Everything native to our system, planets, asteroids, comets, they're all going around and around in roughly the same direction. But 3i Atlas, it's driving the wrong way on a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it came from outside, and it's not sticking around. Even weirder, it's traveling in a retrograde orbit, moving opposite to almost everything else in our solar system. By late October, it's going to reach perihelion, its closest point to the Sun, passing relatively near Mars's orbit. After that, it'll slingshot back out into interstellar space, and we'll probably never see it again. But here's where things get really strange. When scientists pointed the Webb telescope at 3i Atlas, they expected to see a typical comet composition. Water ice, some carbon monoxide, maybe a bit of methane. You know, the usual suspects. Instead, they found something different. This comet's atmosphere, or coma, is dominated by carbon dioxide. We're talking about a CO2 to water ratio that's off the charts compared to any comet from our solar system. Now, carbon dioxide rich comets aren't impossible, but this extreme? This suggests 3i Atlas formed in a very different environment than our local comets. Maybe its parent star system was colder, or had a different chemical makeup in its planet-forming disk. This single visitor is giving us a window into alien solar system chemistry. But the weirdness doesn't stop there. When astronomers measured the polarization of sunlight reflecting off 3i Atlas, they found something unprecedented. Polarization is like a fingerprint of dust grain properties, revealing how materials scatter light. In this case, 3i Atlas exhibits one of the most extreme polarization signatures we've seen so far. It's like meeting someone whose fingerprints are spirals instead of loops and whirls. This suggests its dust grains may have exotic structure, composition, or coatings, perhaps highly dark, porous, or with unusual mantles. Some scientists even entertain the possibility that the grain materials are quite unlike what we're used to in the solar system. If true, 3i Atlas may represent an entirely new class of interstellar body, offering a fresh window into alien dust and ice chemistry. Now here's where things get truly intriguing. When comets get close to the sun, they don't just heat up and release gas. That outgassing actually pushes them slightly off course, like a natural rocket engine. But 3i Atlas, despite clearly being active and releasing gas, its trajectory hasn't budged. It's following a purely gravitational path as if nothing's happening. One possible explanation is that this comet is way denser or more massive than it looks. Imagine a bowling ball covered in a thin layer of cotton candy. From a distance, it looks fluffy and light, but try to push it and you realize there's something heavy underneath. Another possibility is that much of the outgassing is symmetric, so forces cancel, or that the dust grains are large, so the thrust per mass is small. But for now, it remains speculative. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Could it be artificial? Let's address the elephant in the room. Every time we find something weird from space, whether it was Oumuamua or now 3i Atlas, speculation runs wild. And look, it's fun to imagine, but science requires us to look at the evidence objectively. If 3i Atlas were a probe or artificial object, we'd expect to see certain signatures, radio emissions in unnatural frequencies, spectral lines from manufactured materials, course corrections that can't be explained by outgassing, or geometric shapes that don't occur naturally. So far, we see none of that. Every observation is consistent with a natural object, just a really weird one. Its trajectory is purely gravitational within current measurement limits. Its composition is unusual but natural. Its light signature shows no artificial patterns. That said, 
and this is important, being scientifically rigorous means staying open to evidence. If future observations revealed something genuinely anomalous, something that violated known physics or chemistry, that's when we'd need to seriously reconsider. Until then, the alien probe hypothesis remains science fiction, but the real story of 3i Atlas is plenty exciting without it. Right now, telescopes around the world are locked onto this visitor. Webb continues to analyze its spectral composition. Ground-based observatories are measuring its dust properties and monitoring for any changes. What scientists really want are isotope ratios, the relative abundances of different atomic variants in the comet's materials. These would tell us about the temperature, pressure, and chemical conditions in 3i Atlas's birth system. The bigger picture? 3i Atlas is just a preview. The Vera Rubin Observatory, set to begin operations soon, will dramatically increase our ability to detect interstellar visitors. Some estimates suggest we might find tens per year once it's fully operational. Each one will be a messenger from a different stellar system, carrying information about worlds we may never reach. Think about 3i Atlas's journey. Millions, maybe billions of years ago, something violent happened in its home system. Maybe a close encounter between giant planets. Maybe its star captured a passing rogue planet, whose gravity disrupted everything. Whatever it was, 3i Atlas was flung into the cosmic ocean. For eons, it drifted through the interstellar space, a frozen time capsule carrying the chemical signature of its birthplace. It passed through regions we can barely imagine, maybe through molecular clouds and past other stellar systems. And then, purely by chance, its path intersected ours. We have this brief window, just months, to study a visitor from another world, to learn about chemistry that happened around a star we'll never see, to glimpse the diversity of planetary systems across our galaxy. What do you think we'll discover as 3i Atlas reaches its closest approach to the Sun? Will it behave predictably? or surprise us again. Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into one of astronomy's newest mysteries, smash that like button and subscribe for more cosmic content. Also, don't forget to watch this video on the right of your screen.